obviously just you keep yourself in good shape. Um, if you want to work on a certain body part to build muscle or whatever, you can come in and do that. Um, and it's just good to stay active and be healthy. So if you have a tough practice, I, I would definitely recommend taking a day off, especially with football. Working out seven days a week is actually not good. I would not recommend that because um, your body needs time to recover. Um, that's a main problem that kids have. They don't warm up properly and they don't stretch properly before they're lifting. They'll just wake up in the morning, come right in here and start to work. Um, you have to learn how to warm up properly and stretch properly. I come all the way down. I just lay down back on the ground, press it straight up. When I come back up, I hold it for a second. So I'm really getting that flexion in my back when I hold it. Being close to my body there. So I'm gonna rotate my trunk on each side. Each side. Hey, that one's pretty good. You usually get a nice crack in there. So that's a good one. Hamstring pull, definitely, that's, that's prevalent. I see that a lot. A lot of lower back injuries. So actually, I've, I've seen fractures, like the L5, things like that. That's actually what I got. It's a lot more prevalent than you think. There's different foam rollers. Some are thicker, some are thinner. Some have the edges on them. I know it depends on what you can tolerate, because sometimes it's not the most comfortable thing. So you can foam roll like that. If you want to do your back, so you just position it in your back, wherever it's bothering you. So again, if it's lower back, my butt's off the ground, right? Roll back and forth. About 10 to 12 passes, whatever it feels, whatever it feels looser. Hold yourself right there, I'm up off the ground again. Right? Stabilize yourself. You can do a hamstring curl again, another one, a good one to warm up with the hamstrings. Butt's off the ground, curl like that. I'm all the way in, all the way back out. So you're gonna lay down like this, right? You're straight out, I'm on the ground though. And I go opposite arm, opposite leg. So you basically feel the pull like all the way in your back over here. And you do the opposite. So that's good for your back too. You can do a high plank like this. And you just hold yourself there. You do it on your forearms like this. Off the ground like this, and I'm gonna go. I feel like they're in better shape. Um, their stamina is better. Um, there's this kid, Daniel. He lost about 20, 30 pounds since he started working. But it took a couple months. It's not something that you're just gonna snap your fingers. A lot of it's diet too. If you have a weak core, um, it's gonna affect your balance, it's gonna affect everything, holding yourself up, things like that. Um, so everything starts with the core. Um, so I would recommend, uh, each time you work out, I would do at least one core exercise. Um, I usually do two or three. Um, so just mix it up, um, do different things each time you come in, um, just to keep that strong, for sure, because that's one of the most important things, for sure.